Welcome back to Natal Bee Reefing and this is a quick update on coral placement and uh, all the lights are on so we've got both AR primes at 100% all channels on so pretty much white light I guess or full spectrum or I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about actually um, but if you have been watching my channel you will know that up here there were three SPS frags, a poslipora, a, a bird's nest and another bird's nest um, but they started not liking the fact that there was a, a light directly above them they started to uh, just their growth slowed down a little bit and they actually started bleaching so I just moved them lower in the tank we'll get to that now um, looking at the zoanthid wall um, those are moving the fastest I guess they've completely gone off their frag plug so if you have a look at the frag plug there they were all on the frag plug but the whole colony has moved off it which is quite weird um, and then we've got a lot of growth on the other ones uh, stretching out quite far trying to reach each other doing fancy things um, okay so looking from the top here we have a pink lemonade acropora frag it's doing pretty well um, starting to encrust a bit since it's been in my care which I'm quite happy about I think it's a uh, it's nice to see corals doing well when they're in your tank um, and then here we have a red something or other um, it's also a really nice uh, piece it's encrusting close to the edge of the frag plug now which it's a really nice thing to see I don't get to see it very often <laughs> my tank is only only just really starting to allow things to start growing nicely um, Looking from the top here, we've got the Leptastria rock. Um, there's those beautiful um, John Deere ones uh, that came from Gallery Aquatica. Well, they all came from Gallery Aquatica. Aquatica. Um, that rock is doing really nicely, lots of encrusting. Um, looking at the back here, you can see the first of the corals that we moved. Um, that was my finger that you saw. Uh, that is um, the green bird's nest frag that was on the top. Now I've moved it down there, it's still getting more than enough light in that area um, there it is and it is far enough away from that chalice which is doing beautifully um, it's far enough away from that chalice not to be stung that is the poslipora the green one that fell off the top rock and I just stuck it there and that is uh, a bird's nest variety I'm not sure what it is but it's a bird's nest um, it's got a nice pinkish middle with some green tips on which I've only really seen now from looking at it from the top I've never actually seen that coloration um, okay then here we've got the gold torch it's always looking pretty happy um, the clam also looking really happy I keep irritating it by coming over the light so it's not fully open there is the Montipora frag which has always been there um, I took it off its frag plug and put it directly on the rock and since doing that it's actually started to encrust over the rock which is quite nice which makes me think it was encrusting on the frag plug but maybe I just couldn't see and um, then just behind that that's the pink bird's nest that was um, at the top which we moved so I'll try and get it from the side uh, where are we there so that's the pink tip bird's nest um, and this is under just normal lighting. There's no filter on the camera or anything. It's just 100% all channels. And uh, that's that. So that's at the back there now. Um, I'm hoping that it's just going to keep growing quite nicely there. Carnipora is doing well. Um, and then this is the, probably the fastest growing one I'd say in the tank is this little green bird's nest right in the front here. Um, it's really branchy. It's really green. Um, it's really happy there in that position. And then there's the Pavona cactus, and then there's this other, um, this other bird's nest one, which I think is pretty much the same as the one at the back. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. But anyway, that's that one there. So we've moved a few of the pieces around um, purely because they were... Oh, there we go. And then this one, which I don't think there's a video of it yet. There's the purple Postlepora. Um It's really hard for me to see what I'm filming because I'm right on top of it, but... Right back there is the purple Posilopora, and that was over there on the top. Now, it's at the back there. And uh, it's much happier there. It's got its color back. Um, it was bleaching a little bit, being so close to all the light. So this is what the tank is currently looking like, and that area up there 
is earmarked for pieces that I am planning to procure at Reefstock Queensland in two weeks. So really, really keen to check those out. Um, I'll be in line, hopefully picking up some fuzzy, fluffy Acropora pieces to put up there and uh, maybe four, one, two, three, four, maybe. Maybe a fifth one for that corner there. And, uh, but that might be a bit much, I don't know. But anyway, that is the view from the top and the view from the front. And uh, if you stayed all the way to the end, thanks for watching. Peace.